Welcome to another Tip of the Day video tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross. In today's lesson, I'm going to talk about indexing your tables in your Access databases. Indexing is one of the most powerful features that almost nobody does properly. You can usually get away without indexing a small database or a database that you don't use often, but if, like me, you run your entire business on an Access database, as that database starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger, it's going to get slower and slower and slower unless your tables are indexed properly. What is indexing? Well, indexing's primary use is to prevent duplicate values in your table. You see this primarily with auto numbers. If you click on an auto number field, you'll see the primary key is set over here, but down here below you see indexed yes, no duplicates. That means that access has indexed that field and you can't have any duplicate values in that table for that field. And of course with auto numbers that's a necessity. But if you look here, if you drop this down, there are two other options. There's no and there's yes duplicates OK. Now in addition to preventing duplicate values, indexing has a secondary property. Access keeps a sorted list of every indexed field in a table to speed up searching and sorting. That's what this duplicates OK option is for. Now you can't do that with an auto number, obviously, because you can only have one auto number in a particular table. But if you go to something that you search or sort on a lot, let's say last name, you might want to set that to indexed, yes, duplicates OK. That will speed up your searches and sorts based on the last name field. So if you do a lot of reporting or looking up records on people based on their last name, you definitely want to index it duplicates OK. You can't index it duplicates not OK, because if you say no duplicates, then you'll only be able to have one person with that last name, like only one Smith or one Jones. So that's why you have to say duplicates OK. Now you can still search and sort if you don't have the last name field indexed, but then Access has to start at record one and go all the way down the entire table until it finds the record you're looking for. Whereas, if you have it indexed, Access already has that list sorted somewhere out in its memory, somewhere special. And if you do a search for a particular last name, let's say Schmidtheimer, Access can go right to it quickly because it's already got a sorted list. That's the benefit of indexing. So the benefits of indexing, you can prevent duplicate values, it speeds up searches and sorts. However, it does have some downsides. Indexing will slow down updates because every time you change a value or add a new record, it has to update all those index tables. But generally with most databases, you're looking up information and you're generating reports and queries and things like that much more often than you add or edit new records. There are exceptions, of course. Some of my clients have databases where it's mostly data entry and very little reporting. So if that's the case, then don't index those fields. Another downside is that it does take up a little more disk space because it has to keep those separate index tables in the database file, but that's usually negligible. The example that I like to use in my class is that, think of a phone book. Okay, a phone book is indexed by last name, first name. If you open it up, they're already sorted for you, right? By last name, then by first name. Imagine if it wasn't sorted. If you had to open up the phone book and find somebody, but it wasn't in any particular order. You'd start at the first page and then flip through until you found the right person. Since it's indexed, it's much easier to find a specific person based on their last name and first name. However, the phone number field is not indexed. So if you want to do a search for a phone number using a traditional phone book, you have to start at the beginning and look through it. They do have reverse phone books available that are sorted or indexed based on the phone number field. So that's the difference. That's why you want to index whichever fields you're planning on doing a lot of searching and sorting on. Now I talk about indexing in a lot more detail than my Access 2010 Beginner Level 4 class. There are a couple more tips and tricks that I talk about as far as indexing goes, some things you can do to make your database run faster, and other tips of that nature. So if you want to learn about optimizing your database speed and the speed of your searches and sorts, definitely take a look at that class. Now I cover lots more than just indexing in my level 4 class. I talk about several different field properties. I start covering field properties in level 3 and then in level 4 I finish them up. Uh, the required and allow zero length properties, a lot of people get those confused. 
uh, text align and format, HTML encoded rich text so you can put uh, formatting in your memo fields and on your reports, indexing your fields, big part of it, compact and repair, backing up your database properly, the find and replace function, and lots more. So that's the Access 2010 Beginner Level 4 class. And, of course, you can find that on my website at accesslearningzone.com. YouTube viewers, since you stuck around till the end and even watched my little advertisement, here's a special link that you can go to, 599cd.com slash XAC5238. Follow that link. Not only can you watch my full Access 1 tutorial online, but you'll find a link on that page for a huge discount if you decide to purchase any of my lessons or handbooks. So again, follow that link. It's for YouTube viewers only. Don't tell anybody else. Well, okay, you can tell the people if you want to. And um, if you have any questions, email me or send me a message or post it on this video, and I look forward to talking with you.